2019, she will cause from bricks replacement. So, here are the tools that we need. We need a 40 millimeter, a 21 millimeter swivel, and a screwdriver. So we're going to compress the caliper using our screwdriver and put the screwdriver in the brick holder so you can jam it while we're moving the brick holder with an screw. It is a T30. We're going to use a 40 millimeter to remove the caliper bolt. There's the top one. You can use regular hand tool to do this job. You don't need an electric ratchet to do this. So let's hang our caliper with a bungee cord like this. And we're going to remove the 221 millimeter for the caliper bracket. In the case of that one, um, those brake pads were seized. So um, we're gonna have some, we're gonna need some effort to remove them and we have to replace the pins and we're going to clean the brake hub using a wire brush like this and clean our brake caliper bracket make sure you save the old part because the new one might not come with the brake hardware so we're going to grease our caliper pin just like that Make sure they move free of it. Use our new water. I have the link for this in the comment section below. I'm going to put a caliper bracket on. Our brake pad. Let's we grease them. Pad number one and break pad number two. We need to put our entire drag clip on. Um, you got if sometimes you have to hold the way pad in place to put them on, there is the two um tiny hole at the bottom of um of each end of the brake pad you have to put them in between and i'm gonna have the brake uh the caliper hold the pad in place while putting the top one because when you put them on they have a tendency to pop out so we're going to tighten our caliper and that's it guys that's all there is to it thanks for watching see you on the next one